We're all entitled to work in a harassment-free workplace, a point that's been underscored by the Me Too movement. But when the work environment has become poisoned, an employee may be entitled to compensation. We're going to explore what constitutes workplace harassment and how to deal with it appropriately on this episode of the Employment Law Minute. Welcome to the Employment Law Minute, where we talk about common workplace issues and explore practical solutions for both employers and employees. I'm your host, John Scholes, and I'm joined by Ottawa employment lawyer Alex Luchaferro, partner at Samfiru Tamarkin LLP. Alex, there's been a lot of scrutiny on this topic recently. Uh, from a legal perspective, because you're a lawyer, that's why you're here, uh, what constitutes workplace harassment and what are the, the, the obligations of the employer in that regard? Sure. Well, John, the, the legal definition of workplace harassment is actually quite broad and all-encompassing. Really what it means is uh, it refers to any behavior or conduct in the workplace that's either unwanted on the part of an employee or untoward. Um, and, you, you know, really that, that means that things like, obviously bullying in the workplace is, a, is, a, is an easy example of what we've considered harassment, but things along the lines as well of uh, limiting an employee's ability to do their job or um, you know, creating a work environment around an employee where that employee is ostracized uh, from general workplace activities right. and, and even social events. All of that kind of stuff can be considered workplace uh, harassment and certainly an employee is entitled to take action if that's how they feel in the workplace. There are a number of, of options that an employee uh, has and there are also a number of obligations that the employer has on their end of things. Well from the employee side then what uh, should someone do if they feel they're being harassed in the workplace? So there are effectively kind of two options for employees here. There's an internal option and let's call it an external option. Okay. Internally, and this is the first step an employee should take, you want to be able to try and deal with the situation within the company, within your employment, and that means reporting it. If you're in a large, well-organized company, you should be reporting it to their HR department or, or to the mm -hmm. HR person. Put your complaint on the record. The employer will then have an obligation to investigate. If you're not, you know, if you're working for a smaller company, maybe you're a handful of employees and there's only one owner or one boss, you want to also be able to report uh, the incident or the incidents or series of incidents to your boss, whoever your manager is, whoever your direct boss is. You want to give your employer the obligation or the opportunity to fix the problem, right. right? That's the first step. That's internal solution number one. There's also an external solution. If the company is not willing to uh, play ball, if they're not willing to take the action that's needed in order to correct the issue, uh, you should be speaking with an employment lawyer. The employ an employment lawyer will probably advise you if the company hasn't dealt with the harassment that this is a constructive dismissal situation, okay. meaning the company's lack of uh, ability or lack of desire to resolve the situation will allow you to leave your employment and obtain a severance package. That severance is likely going to be significant if you're a longer term employee and that's the external option that you would have. Claiming constructive dismissal, leaving that toxic work environment and obtaining a severance package. That external option is also the option if you as my boss are the one I'm supposed to report to but you're the one harassing me. Right. That's right. I don't so, have anybody above you. And, and that's what happens in smaller workplaces, right. as, as I mentioned. If there's no one there that you can go to because right. the boss is doing the harassment, you've got to take that external option, and a constructive dismissal, dismissal is likely the way to go. How should the employer react to that uh, harassment charge or claim of harassment? So an employer actually, you know, it's not a choice for the employer. The employer has an actual positive obligation, John, to investigate and to take steps and take actions to correct any workplace harassment, that's fine. That's not something that's a maybe situation, John. An employer absolutely has to investigate, has to absolutely take those, take those, uh, that report uh, or those allegations seriously. If they don't, they could be in hot water. Again, the employee would likely be able to claim constructive dismissal, which is not something you want to get into as an employer. Got it. Good stuff, Alex. We're going to leave it there for now. Are you experiencing issues in the workplace? Contact us now. Help at employmentlawminute.ca. The phone number is 1-855-821-5900. Go to employmentlawminute.ca. You'll find past episodes of the show, resources for employers and employees, as well as contact information to help you find practical solutions to workplace problems. Employmentlawminute.ca. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.